Welcome to another Citrix Session with your host, Andy Whiteside and Bill Sutton, your source for all things Citrix. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of the uh, the Citrix Session podcast. I'm your host, Andy Whiteside. Uh, I've got with me Bill Sutton as well, the Director of Services for Zintegra. How's it going, Bill? Going very well, Andy. Uh, it's hard to believe we've gotten up to 11 this quickly. It seems like yesterday we were doing number one, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell the story real quick. We had to stop. We got started recording, and then we forgot what, what edition we were on, what episode. We had, to, we had to stop, and now we realize we're on 11, and someday we're going to look up and be on 211. That'll be... Uh, be quite the journey. Yeah, sure will. So we've got with us uh, Michelle Detloff. Michelle is with Citrix. Uh, Michelle's official title is uh, Senior Program Manager of Customer Success at Citrix. And, and as you guys know, uh, customer satisfaction and end user happiness is a big part of what we have to do in the world of delivering virtual apps and desktops. And Citrix over the last couple of years has uh, really made that a focus. Michelle, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> So, uh, Michelle, we brought you on because um, we want to talk about the concept of what Citrix is doing around the blogs uh, and additional series. But any uh, anything you want to tell us about your, your background in the world of Citrix before we jump in? Sure. I've actually um, I've been with Citrix for about four years now. Um, so they've got me hooked trying to get to my extra week of PTO. So I'm in my one year stretch. <laughs> but um been here for a long time now, it seems. And I started out as... A customer success manager for a share file. Um, and then recently, after a year or so, I got promoted and started working with the cloud products. Um, and then a year ago, I moved into a, a more program focused role. So now I can help support partners, support customers, support everyone, um, and just really make sure that everyone is utilizing the product and getting the most out of it. So everyone has a, a good win win. So, Michelle, I, I know you were in the Raleigh office for a while. You went to school in that area, um, and then now you're in Austin. How did you uh, How did you make the transition to Austin working for Citrix? Oh, I am very fortunate. I have a, a wonderful, super supportive boss, and you know, I've lived in North Carolina my whole life and wanted wanted to mix things up, want to change. So I just threw out the idea. I've always loved Austin. Um, every time I've gone to visit, and I said, "Hey, I think I'm in this position." And, you know, Citrix kind of practice what they preach. You can work from anywhere, work securely. So my boss was super supportive. And, you know, now I can put put my money where my mouth is and actually utilize our products day to day. And it's awesome to be in a company that really supports your life, you know, work-life balance. And you don't have to be structured or sitting or stuck in one place just because of a job. So I was able to live out my dream, move to Austin and stay with a, a great company. I don't think I would have, it would have been worth the move if I had to, to leave Citrix. So it, I'm glad it all worked out. No, that's great. It's great to hear the, um, the, the solution applying to the, the personal need as well as uh, still working out on the business side. That's, you know, that's really what, what we do and what it's all about uh, in Citrix and Citrix partners, understanding what the, the business and personal needs are of the customer and the, and the end user and trying to make those things work out while still allowing them to get their job done. It's great. Okay. Well, so this podcast was started as a way to get people connected to the blogs that Citrix does uh, as a different, um, different medium to make that happen. Um, so I really want to start off by just kind of going into the concept of the blogs in, in general at Citrix and anything you can tell us there to kind of help, you know, our listeners understand what Citrix is doing specifically around just the blog in general and, and, and what they should be getting the value out of that. What value is speaking? Sure. I mean, Citrix does have a, a very large blog presence, lots of different avenues, lots of different topics, lots of different viewpoints. Um, so lots of great resources if you want to just have a like technical, maybe some advice, some specific solutions, maybe more sales focused. So lots of different avenues, as I'm sure you guys know, because you cover, I'm sure you know way better than I do even, but I specifically... Um, manage two specific different blog channels that focus specifically on customer success. So obviously the customer success department in general, we try to provide a lot of different avenues to help 
either customers or even partners would just provide different resources because everyone learns differently. Everyone has a different preference, whether you want to have a specific, you know, customer success manager that you work with directly, or if you're more self-help and you want to, you know, have guides and, and different blogs that go through technical resources, or if you need tips on how to get your end users adopted, we want to p- provide you a good platter of resources so that you can get whatever you need out of it. Um, and specifically even for partners, you know, we really want to work, the customer success management team really want to work with you guys because I feel like we have a lot of overlapping goals. Um, at the end of the day, all of us just want the customers to be using the product and to be happy and to renew. Um, and so that's kind of a, a shared mutual goal. So I don't know, do you want me to go into the two blog series that I dive on into those or just blogs in general? No, definitely. Uh, we'll dive into those. Hey, Bill, any uh, specific questions you would have for Michelle before we jump into the, the two series that she alluded to being responsible for? No, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, I, I, this, I think this is a great thing for Citrix and for the community. So I would just uh, just hand it off to Michelle, let her run through uh, what she's what she manages. Yeah, I'll just add to what Michelle was saying there in terms of a, a world we live in where it's, you know, it's a, it's a DIY world and it's so much enabled now versus back in the days when you had to, I don't know, go get, bring in an expert to do everything. You know, a big part of Citrix and Zintegra both are the idea that we're going to educate people to be more successful on their own. And the blogs is a great example of that. And, you know, videos associated with the blog. Personally, last night, I, I, I had to, we've had to buy a new dishwasher and, and the, uh, you know, the guy told me, Hey, I can sell you this dishwasher. It'll be there tomorrow, but the plumber's not coming for two weeks. Well, it's Christmas and I, I can't have a dish. I can't not have a dishwasher. So I, you know, jumped over to YouTube and started watching videos and we'll find out tonight whether I'll be successful or not. Uh, almost had a near disaster last night, disconnecting the, the old one. But the, the whole point is the, the world of Citrix and specifically Citrix, the company has realized that in order for customers to be successful, there's a, there's a need to educate and these blogs are a great aspect of that or a great avenue to that. So Michelle, one of your uh, series that you're responsible for is the Citrix tips series tips as in T I P S. Uh, do you want to jump into that one and try to help uh, the listeners understand what it is you guys are doing there? Yeah, absolutely. So it actually started um, years ago before my time, we started a webinar series called technology and practice or tips. Um, essentially it would be enterprise architects are cream of the crop, top tier, super technical um, employees would every month do a um, technical deep dive into a specific topic. Um, And they were super popular. Like you said, you know, people like the videos and everything like that. So um, it just really took off. It had a brand following. It's one of our most popular webinar series um, at Citrix. So we kind of built a brand around that and, most recently, originally the blogs really were just dedicated towards the um, the actual webinar series. So there would be a blog before the webinar, kind of giving you the breakdown of what's to be expected and, and have some links and resources. And then after each webinar, um, we would do a recap and kind of answer some of the most frequently asked questions and stuff like that. So everything kind of worked together. Um, but last year we transitioned to quarterly instead of monthly. And we saw an opportunity to leverage that tips brand, which if anyone ever makes it out to summit or energy, we have some live events that are under the tips brand too. So we're kind of branching it out. Um, so you might hopefully are familiar with it. And if not, I would definitely encourage you to check out the tips webinars too, for a shameless plug for that as well. But um, yeah, so recently since, you know, this is our top tier, really technical folk, we wanted to provide um, more resources to fill in the gap with since we weren't having the monthly webinars anymore, you know, we wanted to have something that people could still stay engaged with the tip for brand, still get that technical presence. Um, and a couple months ago, we actually launched a security series under the tips brand. Um, so lots of tips and tricks, best practices. I know security is always, always important, always top of mind. Um, and whether it just be best practices or actual technical configuration that you can do in your environment to make sure that, you know, you're doing the best by your employees and your team and protecting yourself and protecting your company. Um, so we had several blogs in that series just dedicated to security. Um, and then of course we still will pull in just 
any anything that's relevant and topical at the time that just in general these this specific page or channel is is more technical and folk in nature and it doesn't necessarily have to do with the cloud although some does apply to the cloud but it's just more general citric across the board yeah i gotta be honest i'm kind of embarrassed that i haven't really been keeping up with this particular series i'm just flipping through some of the um some of the topics and they're they're, they're things that myself as a consultant slash architect slash a seller advising people on Citrix technologies should should have been aware of. Uh, this is awesome. Hey, Bill, any thoughts? No, I, I, I agree with you there. I, I, I can remember, um, Michelle, some of those those uh, former tip um uh, webinars that you're speaking of, some of the older ones. Um, I didn't realize they transitioned into this, uh, but I've, I've actually attended a couple of these. I don't know that I realized it was part of the series, but uh, I've attended a couple of them. And uh, I like the fact that you're filling in the gaps here with with blog articles, as well as supporting both on the front end and the back end, uh, the, the actual webinars that you have. So a really nice job here. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's good. I mean, once you have something that has that brain recognition, it's easier to just kind of build on it. Since there are, I know there's just so much information thrown at you at all different times. So we really want to keep this one really technical, honed in, and, and keep its identity alive. So it's definitely one of our most popular. Back in October, we actually broke the record. The webinar broke the record for the most um, registrants and attendees. So very popular. Our last blog has to do with the recap of that one. So especially for anyone who's on or uses Microsoft Azure, mm -hmm. which I know is pretty popular. So I would definitely encourage you guys to check that one out too. So, so Michelle, there's um, the tips series. Now, if I subscribe to the Citrix blogs, I'm going to get the tips series as just one of the many links that I get whenever I get the email with the, the blog, re the blogs recaps. Uh, I believe so, but you can also always go and see the library of all the past ones, um, the archives. I believe it's citrix.com slash blog. What is it actually? Slash tips. Let me make sure. Give you the right. Citrix.com slash blog slash author slash Citrix tips. And that will give you the whole archive of all of them. Um, and again, like you said, the security stuff is not really ever going out of style. So you can always go back and reference those if you um, are curious or want some, some good tips. Well, I'm curious, where do you get topics? How do you come up with topics? Is it based on uh, what your, what your, your engineers or consultants are seeing in the field or what they're hearing from customers or how do you come up with the topics? Yeah. So since a lot of the, um, actually almost exclusively, all of these are written by the enterprise architects. So ah. it's based on their experience in the field. So a lot of these, even, you know, when it comes to tips or best practices or um, things like that, that's really more opinion based, based on like, you know, their years of experience, like all their projects that they're working on. So they're saying, Hey, I've seen X, Y, and Z, you know, this has been really beneficial or make sure that you're doing this. Um, but again, like I said, this is the cream of the crop are these guys are so smart. Sometimes when I talk to them, I'm like, you're speaking a different language to me. I can't even keep up. So, um, it's, you know, they really know what they're talking about and I'm always very impressed. And, you know, I've even learned some stuff, you know, just that you can take into other aspects of your life, not even Citrix, but just security measures and passwords and things like that, um, that don't even necessarily, or that can translate to other areas not specifically dedicated to the Citrix environment. So Michelle, the two series that we're really talking about here as part of the overall blog concept, uh, the second one is called the Cloud Guidepost. I guess real quick, can you just define the tips one versus the Cloud Guidepost so we know from a frame of reference, the, the general concept between the two. Yeah, so Cloud Guidepost is generally going to be a little bit lighter in nature. Like I said, the tips is very technical, um, almost always exclusively enterprise architects. Um, tips focus. It is going to be more um, technical. God, what's the other thing? Oh, it's going to. It's not specifically focused on cloud. Whereas obviously the Cloud Guidepost, anything that you see there is going to be cloud. So that's the biggest differentiator. There are a couple of technical pieces here and there um, in the cloud guidepost, but it's just um, the main difference is, you know, how technical it is essentially. And um, 
cloud is just more of a general way to keep up to date on the latest cloud features, cloud enhancements, um, any tips and tricks. There are some of that nature, but also if we have a new webinar series coming out, um, a lot of the articles will talk about our ACE series. So we have another um, webinar series under the customer success. It's more, it's less technical in nature. It's more of a forum for to connect experts with either partners, customers, whoever, if they have technical questions, if they have any kind of questions actually about the cloud, then they can join these monthly sessions and ask questions to the experts. Um, so typically, you know, you'd have to pay, have a paid engagement or something like that to get these questions answered, but we provide this platform um, to connect experts with whoever, whoever and whomever. Um, so sometimes that'll be part of the cloud guide post. Let's see. I think um, another big thing that we cover on the cloud guide post, it is more frequent. We have a post almost every week and a lot of them talk about new updates to the customer success center, which I know, as you mentioned, as we've been talking about this whole time, you know, everyone wants more of that self-service and being able to watch videos or have resources and try to figure it out themselves, which by the way, very good luck to you tonight. I want to hear about how the dishwasher goes. I, I think you should video it and watch it because I just find that to be funny, but good luck. I hope it works out. I'm nervous for you, but maybe that's because I know that I can't do it. Anyways, this one, um, the Customer Success Center, if you guys haven't heard about that, it's a great, great, great resource. It's a one-stop shop. It has everything. I know, you know, over the years, all these resources are and blogs and white papers are all over the internet and it's not always the easiest to know what's the most up-to-date and which one is applicable to your environment. So the Success Center is a great place because it's all the latest and greatest. It's all up-to-date. Um, yeah, that's so good. you know that you're getting the most relevant information. Yeah, and again, the idea here is just to share these two concepts with our listeners because, you know, I personally can tell you that I've, you know, I, I guess I see this stuff come across. I just ne never really dug into the fact that there these series were specifically uh, to cover the areas that they cover um, and specifically the one around the cloud piece, which is somewhat new. Uh, and, you know, definitely and there's questions in here. I just, as I'm, as I clicked on it and started looking through some of the topics, I, I know that some of the answers I've been seeking are actually in, in here proactively and, and also provides me a vehicle to collaborate with the, the author, which I think is something not nearly enough people take advantage of, uh, when they get through reading these things and, and posting questions that might be relevant for others. So, well, Michelle, this is great. I don't want to go too far down these roads. The whole goal here is to get people, um, you know, a touch point on what Citrix is doing around the blogs and specifically these two series. Is there anything before we adjourn here that you'd want to make sure you got across in this, in this podcast uh, that we haven't covered yet? No, I don't think so. I mean, definitely encourage you to check them out. A lot of time and effort goes into these and we want to make sure that they're getting utilized. So I'm, I first want to thank you guys for letting me join today and hopefully this helps to spread the word. So you guys know that these are some additional resources that you can leverage, but yeah, I appreciate you having me on and hopefully everyone finds some value out of these. I think one of my biggest takeaways here is I want to keep an eye on the tips um, series and maybe start doing some of our podcasts specifically on those. Because I think a lot of people would, well, both even the guideposts as well, but maybe using those as very focal points of our podcast because yeah. uh, their goal is to be technical in these podcasts. And um, definitely these things hit the technical mark, no doubt. Yeah, they do that. Um, and I think I agree. I think that'd be a great way to, to focus on the tips. But obviously, the, the cloud success pieces, a lot of, you know, a lot of customers are moving to cloud. So um, that, that we could benefit from making a good mix, I think. Yeah, Bill, I, I don't see any specifically here. I see them on AWS, which is important. I also see them out there. Our, our friends at Microsoft would love it if we kind of, <laughs> we kind of get the degrees <laughs> on uh, Azure and what they're covering here in the cloud guide, po guide post. So uh, af after we finish this uh, podcast, the first thing I want to do is go find the most relevant one of those and reach out to the author and see if we can't do a, a uh, podcast on that topic. Exactly. Perfect. All right, Michelle. Well, thanks for the time. And I uh, appreciate you joining us and, and helping us to learn about these new series or these different series and draw, helping us draw attention to them. No problem. And hey, happy holidays. Hope you guys have a great new year as well. Thank you, Michelle. You too. Great. 
All right, guys. Well, with that, we'll wrap this one up and we'll, we'll see you next time on the next episode, which should be 12 uh, of uh, the Citrix session. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Citrix Session with your hosts, Andy Whiteside and Bill Sutton. A special thanks to our guests, podcast produced by Pete Downing. Head over to Zentegra.com forward slash podcast to listen to all podcasts in this series. Let's face it, hiring help is not easy these days. Let Zentegra Staffing help you find the right person for the right job. Head over to Zentegra.com forward slash Zentegra Staffing to find out more and let us staff your people needs.